Hi YouTubers, Dave out in Western PA, USA. Uh, right now, I uh, my goal is to work towards a uh, solid state battery, aluminum air, and I'm also working with magnesium zinc. Here, I have a strip of aluminum, and I brush the surface with copper uh, sponge to expose fresh elemental aluminum, get some of that aluminum oxide off. And I have uh, Murray Smith's uh, polypropylene sheet. I have another video on that and there's some others that people have done. Polypropylene sheet that protects sleeves, cut a rectangular section, and with Asbury Graphite Mills Incorporated, a gift from them, Asbury, New Jersey, I took their flake graphite and uh, according to Murray Smith's directions and discovery, rub it vigorously into the polypropylene sheet. This is, just happens to be red coloration. It's Sea uh, line Topper. That's the company. And uh, rub that in really well until I was getting a low resistance. I got it as low as 150. Uh, ohms which is uh, I would say that's uh, pretty darn good and uh, what I did with the aluminum strip I uh, covered it with a thin film which you can see there of polyvinyl alcohol it was prepared from uh, material I had in the stockroom Baker's polyvinyl alcohol and it's 99 to 100 percent hydrolyzed so you have to be very careful that you don't have a lot of polyvinyl acetate in there I want the alcohol functionality what I did was uh, take up uh, about four grams of the polyvinyl alcohol in a hundred milliliters of distilled water heated it up first added a little bit of dipropylene glycol you could try using glycerol as well and uh, soaked it with that a little bit. It just helps to dissolve that polyvinyl alcohol readily. Heated it up to around uh, 80 degrees until it was homogeneous and then uh, pour cast it into plastic whey dishes and left it in the fume hood overnight to uh, get uh, and the dipropylene glycol helps too to give it plasticity. It's a plasticizer of course and that really helps to uh, get you a thin film membrane that you can work with. Now it's not ready to use. Uh, what I do is I soak it in one and a half molar sodium hydroxide solution for at least two hours. And uh, that sodium hydroxide solution will uh, soak in there really well and uh, my goal there is to then through the acid base chemistry convert a number of ionized groups on the polyvinyl alcohol so it will become uh, the polyvinyl alkoxide I want it to be of course uh, a hydroxide carrier so I want it to be uh, a membrane a solid electrolyte uh, which will uh, allow the passage of hydroxide and of course right now uh, that thin film is wet with aqueous solution but I want to see if it continues to function as the water evaporates but one thing I know right away it is passing through the membrane now here I have Murray Smith's polypropylene sheet that's been rubbed vigorously with graphite flake and that is the cathode the aluminum of course is the anode I have the membrane there in place and it is soaked with uh, the sodium hydroxide solution and we'll see over the next three four days as that water evaporates if that membrane will continue to be functioning so we know it is right now we wouldn't be drawing current okay what's the open potential the open uh, voltage well it's a 1.45 volts could be as high as 1.7 but under these conditions 1.45 now let's see what the current is that's what I'm concerned with and I'm going to microamps 
and I'm coming in at about 585 or so 590 microamps and that is pretty good and see it's holding its own that's important so I will be working actually my goal here is to uh, to go pure solid state the power output on such batteries will not be great but it'll be steady there'll be a steady out uh, outgoing uh, current to rely on and see we're staying there at 577 microamps that's certainly not dropping let's go back to the open voltage after the short and uh, let's see if it rebounds and there it goes so that'll make its way back to where it was it's going up and uh, I'll work on getting some air in there of course because we want oxygen flow I'll put some perforations in the uh, uh, conducting graphite electrode current collector but my main goal right now is the production of uh, ionic uh, conducting thin films, membranes, that can serve as solid electrolytes. I have some ideas in mind, but we'll use this for a basis of comparison. So uh, see we're at 1.42 volts right now. Let's do a short. And there we are, right back around where we were. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.